Good morning, wonderful people. And what better way than to start with my garden? Let's just show that really quick. Woohoo! I mean, it has just exploded. You can see my peas. I mean, they're coming all the way to the top of my peach tree right here. And my onions and sunflowers. That is not mold, that is diatomaceous earth on the top of those. And then look at the carrots and the beans. I mean, we have just taken off here my peppers. And then we've got the tomatoes, which are taken off. And then we'll come over here. My grapes are back in the corner. And then the raspberries. Ooh -wee! Look at that. The first one of the season. And you guys get to witness this. Picking the first one of the season. I wanted to talk a little bit and share a little bit about my experience this last couple of, well, it's probably been about four days ago, the last four days. I've been really diving into some hard subjects, depression, anxiety, and really understanding them better and more because it goes back to the importance that if we know somebody who's struggling with depression and anxiety, that we need to do what we can to help them. This is not something to take lightly. And especially if their circumstances are such that it's caused them to shut down. It is, I, I mean, I've met some people who they're, they're just completely shut down. When you ask them that they, to do something, they, they can't even do it. They have no strength, no power. And we need to start there. What's been interesting is those that I've been talking to, that they don't want to be coddled, so don't do that. They just want to know somebody's there that they can talk to, that they can listen, that they can share their story if they're willing don't try to force them to share their story i learned the hard way on that one you can't force anybody to share what they don't want to share and it will come in time yes they'll heal faster and they'll start coming out of their depression if they start sharing their story they start sharing the pain the, the sorrows the suffering and because once they start sharing that, that's when we can help them more by giving them some techniques to manage and break it down into pieces, to manage the, maybe the anger, to manage the sadness, to manage the overwhelm, you know, all of these different little pieces that are equaling the depression. It's not just boom, it's depression. There's a puzzle that forms the depression. There's a puzzle that was put together before the current that created this anxiety, this overwhelm, which then led to the shutdown and depression. If you're struggling with depression, there, there's no shame in it. There's no shame in it. But if you want to get out of it, you've got to share. You've got to talk to people. And I know that's the last thing that you kind of want to do is talk to anybody. But you probably have been crying and crying for maybe days, weeks, months, years. And trying to understand yourself exactly what's going on. But you have to you have to talk you have to share you have to be willing to be vulnerable and not worry about what others think and i know that's pretty hard we don't recognize our own value we could be told we are amazing we are talented we are beautiful we are gorgeous we are handsome we are sexy we could, we, we could be told any number of qualities but none of them will matter until they matter to you. 
None of them will matter until you start believing them. When you start to believe them, wow, then the world unfolds. Then you become and start doing things that even yourself couldn't even imagine. You start helping people in a way that you never even thought of. You go from being shut down to being open and to helping and to bringing a tribe of people with you on your healing journey. And it is, it is a powerful thing to watch. I've seen people who've been shut down from abuse and help them get through that side of it to where the, now they're actually helping other people, they're sharing their story, and they're being more vulnerable. I mean, if you think about one of the most amazing young ladies I could think of, the reason I qualify her as one of the most amazing is her experience she went through but yet she came out on top and she's sharing it and that's elizabeth smart and i don't know if you know her but she was the young lady that was kidnapped out of her home then raped and essentially tortured emotionally and mentally and physically sexually for it was a long time, almost a year, maybe actually it was longer than that. I, I'm sorry, I don't know exact dates. But anyways, she came out, and when she was rescued, her mother gave her some of the most valuable advice. And that was, you know, you, you can't undo what he's done. And just like your situation, you can't undo what has done. You can't undo the pain and suffering that you've already experienced, that you've already gone through. How you can show up to the individual that created that pain, that suffering, is by being the strongest, the most resilient person you could be. Oh, when, she, when I heard that, I was like, that is awesome. What a fantastic mom. Because that's the best advice we could give ourselves and that we could do is we can prove to the world that we are strong, that we are resilient, that we can accomplish and do hard things. And that is how you get back to quote unquote get revenge if you want to get revenge is by being stronger and more powerful and you just show up everywhere you go you show up and you say this is me i am not going anywhere matter of fact i am here to stay i'm going to be helping and whatever the story is and however you want to help elizabeth smart has been traveling the country she's been sharing her story and she gets she gets very real about what she shares and at first I thought, wow, I don't know if I'd want to share that. But then that comes into the power of communication, of talking, getting it out of you. If you just sit and stew on it in your brain and just think about it over and over and over again, it doesn't get any better. But if you sit and work on it and talk about it and share your story with others, and as you are getting that junk out of you, the more junk that comes out allows the more goodness that can come in. I want you to think of it kind of like a tube. So if I have a tube here and on one side is coming in the good and this side is repelling all the bad, the more you put in, it starts to repel the bad and push it out. It starts to get rid of it so that we can accomplish and do so much more. And we could help so many more people. So no matter where you're at in your life, no matter what the struggle is, you have the strength to overcome it. Whether it's depression, anxiety, overwhelm, whether it's sadness, addiction, I could go on and on and on. Whatever it is, you have the power and the strength to do it. A lot of times you can't do it alone. You need support group. You need somebody to be able to talk to and to communicate with and to work with to help you through processing this 
to help give you the tools and techniques to get rid of the the negative thinking that's going on in your brain to working through your stuff and that's what I've loved help doing I've been doing this for several women and watching them just blossom and grow and and strengthen themselves and seeing where they were at and where they are now oh it's the best reward ever it is absolutely the best reward ever because they start to realize their own power and you guys are powerful you are so powerful and when you can tap in and you can realize that and you can hone into that and you just embrace that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to and I would love to help you on that journey if you would like my help just let me know through a private message or contact through my tonyroten.com and I am Tony Roten I would love to be your coach mentor and help you accomplish your dreams you are amazing believe it have a fantastic day